So let's talk about OpenAI assistance. Basically, you can go into the ChatGPT interface and then chat to it there. You have a step up from that, which is a custom GPT, which is a no code solution. And you can then step up to an open AI assistant, which will allow you to actually write some code in there as well to make it a bit more powerful. So firstly, we're going to come into N8N and set the actual workflow up. So you click on add first step and then click on on chat message. Then we add another node, which is an AI. You have AI agent, which you're, some people are familiar with. You also have another one called OpenAI. If you click on this, you'll get a whole list of options here. What we're going to do is click on message and assistant. So we come over here, you connect your OpenAI account, and then under assistance, you'll click on the drop down. You'll notice we have nothing here at all. So we're going to go ahead and build a custom assistant and then attach it here. So we come over to the OpenAI playground area. And then within that, you have a setting called assistance. As you can see, we have no assistance created. So we're going to go ahead and create one. So let's hit create. Now, simple interface here. First, we'll start with a name. So let's call this a Twitter agent. And what we're going to do is just put in some text here. Just a simple prompt. And we're going to go for GPT-40 Mini. You have a lot of options here. You also have some tools that you can add. So you can do a file search tool, which is like a rag. So you can upload files for the GPT to learn from. You can also use it as a code interpreter. So if you would like to write some code or interpret some code, you would turn this on and you can give it access to files as well. You can also do a function. So function allows you to write some code. So here you can, you've got some preceded ones here, or you can generate your own code. We're not going to do that for now. You also have the model configuration. These settings here, you do not have in a custom GPT. So this makes it a bit more powerful. You can say how you want to response format. So you can do a text or a JSON object. We just want text back. You can also adjust the threshold of the temperature. So zero means it's not creative at all. And two means very creative. So since we are doing a Twitter agent to write us tweets, we're going to put this to about 1.5. Now also for top P, top P is open AI's way of determining how it generates the next word. So one is more creative, zero is not creative at all. We'll, 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 we'll just go for a one here, okay? Everything is set. You don't need to hit save or anything. So now we can write our message to the bot. So I can say, create a tweet about N8N. Okay, there you go. So it's given me a few tweets, so we know it's working. So now what we can do is we can come back to OpenAI Let's go here and make sure we save our workflow. Come back in here. And then now you see our Twitter agent. Great, so that's connected. Let's hit save. Let's open up our chat. And let's write that same message. And let's see if it works. Great. As you can see, it's done the same thing as before. It's written three different options for us. So now what we want to do is make sure this works as a standalone bot. So if we come into chat, message received, and then make this public, we also want to add our cause field here. So let's do all of that. We copy this URL and then save. And all going well, we should be able to come over here. One thing you'll notice is that we're getting an error here. So the workflow must be active. What you'll notice here is that we have an error that says the workflow must be active. So what we've done is we've missed a step. So that's an easy fix. We come back here and we make sure our workflow is active. We can now come back to the page, refresh. Okay, we can now ask it to create a tweet for us.
and there we go. So again, it's given us three options. So we know that the bot is connected correctly.